Okay, hi. Um, so, this is a short little video about all the equipment uh, that I have and that I use uh, for creating videos and, and content. Uh, I've built up this, this, this desk with lots of, uh, lots of components since about 2017 is when I first built my, uh, well, bought a very high-end but used uh, Hewlett-Packard workstation computer for to use for modeling, 3D modeling on my computer. Like, like I do models of floating islands and stuff. And in 2017, I bought that computer and I built that up with memory and graphics cards. And then I sold that one and upgraded that and bought another one. So this whole process over the last like six, seven years has resulted in a pretty extreme setup. I'm going to turn around my, cam my camera and I'll show you all the different components of my current setup. Here you go. So please don't mind my workspace. It's very messy. And um, so here's everything that I've got. Currently, we've got this chair uh, that was bought in 2019. Um, supposedly, it's real, but I got it from a garage. It was a steel steel case. It says steel case. Um, can't even remember the name, but this would be like a $1,200 chair on the steel case website and I bought it for $600 out of a garage like literally someone's house in a neighborhood in California they had a garage full of chairs you had your choice of black or black and that was it um, and then uh, this desk itself uh, I bought that in when I was living in California in Los Angeles area uh, from a used office furniture uh, place. And I honestly, I do not recall what I paid for the desk. Was, I mean, it was probably a few hundred bucks. Uh, maybe five, maybe 500 bucks or something like that. I, I can't remember. Um, the current printer, this was actually a, a recent replacement. I had a Hewlett Packard. And it was a similar color and size. Uh, a little bit smaller than this. I had a Hewlett Packard since 20, also 2019, but I bought a bunch of stuff in that in that time frame. Um, and then um, these are 43 inch LED televisions. The current ones are the Sony um, K uh, X 85 X 85. So there's X 85 J. And the successor of the X85K. These are both 4K monitors. Um, they're around, when I bought them, they're around the $700-$800 range each. Uh, I think they're. I think the current generation is now just like $650 or something like that. <coughs> um, and then, I mean, I really, I want to show you everything. So, let's get to the nitty-gritty here. So, underneath, I, I, I positioned a light... Uh, it's just a touch light, for, you know, from Home Depot. Uh, battery operated. I got a kilowatt to show how many watts are going on the computer. Everything from the computer is plugged in here. And even with nothing turned on, it's still consuming 70 watts of power. I, I don't even know what, I guess maybe the uninterruptible power supply is drawing it. I don't even know. Uh, this one right here, uh, it's a pretty nice shredder. Paper shredder. Um, ugh. and then these are actually some Bose speakers I bought around 2021 20, time frame. Uh, this one microphone, I bought this, I bought this online based on a bunch of recommendations. This one is the Octava MK12, and the microphone is only from here to here. Uh, this is just the, the cable and foam patty, foam thingy. Um, 
And then this is a very popular microphone holder from Rode. There's a lot of people who have that online. Um, some some doodads I bought to hold everything. I mean, there's no name to it. It's just stuff that I found on eBay and Amazon. Um, the lights that I have, I have four, and all four are very similar. They're all newer brand, newer, and the, you know they're they're actually all like similar to this. Here's one that's like a long version. This one I use pretty much for just for lighting up a green screen. Uh, and then I have three like this. All four of them uh, are controlled by the app on my phone. And then these two, I put the soft boxes on them. But this one over here is uh, pretty much like a hair light. I just keep it low. Um, let's see. Okay. Now, on to the camera. The camera that's in here, I guess you can't see it. Let me pull this back. This camera is a Canon R8. This one was supposed to be around $1,500. I actually bought it for $1,500 for the body only. Um, and I paid like $200 for the lens. But then I kept going back and getting them to discount. They gave me $100 back twice. Because they kept lowering the price, and I was like, "Hey, I want I want to pay that much. I don't want to pay more than everybody else." Um, so, and then I wasn't sure which which um, uh, what do they call this thing the the teleprompter would be best for my setup. So there was I don't know where it went. There was an original one that hung off the lens on the camera. And then I found that the lens kept moving back and forth and the weight on top of the lens was not, like the camera was rejecting it. it the camera did not like having the weight on it. <laughs> um, so then I bought a couple other ones, but there was all these different sizes. And I couldn't figure out from the pictures, I couldn't tell the scale of it. So I ended up buying, like, the one that's on there now is, like, the fourth one I've got. Here's the original, that I, the first one that I bought that goes on the lens. Um, and I need to go on eBay and sell these, but, you know, I'll get to that eventually. It's, it's not like I crucially need the money right this second. Um, and then a couple doodads, you know, I got, like, this huge mat right here. I've had this since 2019. Um, 2019 was a pretty big year for buying my computer stuff. Um, 2021 as well. I got this color checker. This is for color accuracy from the camera. Just making sure that the camera output is, is, is accurate. Uh, let's see. Blood, blood pressure monitor. <laughs> That's important when you get, when you get in your forties and over and you have high blood pressure. I did buy these, um, controllers which are bluetooth connected to the computer to the pc um because because i do 3d modeling i have a super powerful computer uh, which I'll, I'll get to that and show you but because i have such a powerful computer it's like why not uh have get some games and so i have some really good games and the, you know i play them every now and then but not a lot so it's hard to get to the front of this computer this right here is the computer, and um, well, this is actually just the 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 rack. This is like a if you ever seen like a full computer rack, this is a smaller version of it. Um, just just a shorter version. It's a full depth uh, rack, and like like you you would have a rack in a in like a server mainframe situation so this is one rack just a half height basically um and inside of it i've got this massive computer i've also got some good networking stuff let me see if i got a do i have a, a flashlight in there here i thought i did mm. no i can't use the flashlight when i'm when I'm recording, so 
thought there was a flashlight on my desk somewhere. Hmm. Well, that's how disorganized I am right now. Um, but anyway, uh, this computer is a Hewlett Packard um, Z8 G4. If you look that up, these things can be incredibly expensive and you can't really see the inside components of it right now but i do have a focus right scarlet uh, that's an audio interface and then inside of the case uh, this is a 3090 card rtx 3090 card and there's actually two different um, cpus inside the case it's a dual cpu which is very kind of unusual um yeah, this is my third HP workstation. So this one is circa, I believe this was built in 2020. I bought it, I think, in late 2021. And I've had it for a couple of years. Gosh. Yeah, more than a couple of years already. Wow. So uh, this has 192 gigabytes of RAM. I mean, it's, it's a monster. 192 gigabytes of RAM, dual CPUs, um, and a 3090 graphics card. I'd be happy to upgrade that even more, but there's no way I need more than 192 gigabytes of RAM. I can't really max out the use of this graphics card unless I was going to do rendering of my 3D models on a constant basis. If I was going to be doing that a lot, I might be tempted to upgrade that card but uh, for now um, there's no need to do it so anyway that really oh and there's a couple other components in here there is a uninterruptible power supply underneath it's a rack mount unit and you can barely see it I wish I had my flashlight to show you better but um, it is like it's a kind of a rare uninterruptible power supply it's not the basic version that you find online. It's like the more, more advanced. Um, it corrects like the power sine waves and stuff like that to make sure the power delivered to the computer is like really high quality. Um, and every piece and component that I've got is fed through that UPS. So, and then that UPS plugs into the kilowatt that measures the amount of wattage so that even the TVs, the, the, the camera, the computer, the printer, every single thing is measured in the kilowatts. So I know how much wattage I'm using. And then up top, um, it's a bit hard to see, but there is one uh, network card in there. I mean, it's a, it's a network interface. So let me see if I can go around to it. So much junk in here. So you can see that that's a networking thing and down there lit up in orange is the front of the universal uh, uninterruptible I mean pow uninterruptible power supply UPS. So yeah, so that's my whole setup. Um, uh, let's see. So <laughs> It's a pretty intense setup. There's a lot of folks online who have cleaner looking setups that are powerful and they look sexy. Um, but honestly, the setup I have here is as powerful and in some cases a lot more powerful than other people's setups. But I don't really keep it clean and sexy looking. It, it doesn't really matter to me because I, mean, I don't really post it online that much. <laughs> but anyway, that is... Uh, what I'm working with for setup, it's in my spare room in my little condo, and that's it. Like, that's everything. All right. Um, if you want to know anything else about it, feel free to drop a comment, and um, I'll be I'll be checking every now and then to give you a response. <laughs> Talk to you then.